Hi, I'm Thalia Shuras with Pushing Green, and the subject today is energy efficient windows. This is Andy Riley of Thompson Creek Windows, who's going to give us all the information we want to know about how to improve our energy bills, essentially, by putting in some new windows. So one of the things that I wonder about is how do you actually know whether your current windows are not energy efficient? Well, one of the first ways, obviously, is uh, something you even mentioned earlier when we were talking is you feel it. You feel in the wintertime when the air is coming in, and it shouldn't. Uh, this time of year in the summer, you what you probably don't realize is you're cooling the, the neighborhood. Uh, generally, it was thought to, that with single-pane windows and then adding a storm window in the past that it would make the window that much more efficient, that you would be able to retain the the cool air inside or the heat inside depending on the season but as technology has improved we found out that there's a there's a lot of good ways to uh, enhance your efficiency is there some way of actually testing your windows to know if air is seeping out or hot air is seeping in well you could do little things like uh, sticking a, a match or a lighter up and you could see right there if there's a breeze coming through there are uh, at hardware stores, you can buy little uh, guns that tell the temperatures, and you can go around to your different windows and be able to tell. Also, there may be certain sides of the house that are worse than others. Well, what sides, for example? Well, a lot of times you're going to, obviously, the the southern exposure is going to, the house is going to take more of a beating on that side, so you may want to concentrate a little more there. Now, one of the things I know pushing green fans ask about is how much money, and tell me if I'm wrong folks, how much money you can save by actually putting in something that helps with your energy efficiency. So when it comes to windows, how much would I be saving on heating costs in the winter, which is gas, uh, for, in my case, or let's say somebody at home is, might have an electrical system or something else. How much can you reduce your utility costs? By an average, what we see is is thirty percent, and that's and sometimes that's conservative. You know, it, it it depends. For instance, if your original windows are steel steel casements, you know, post post World War II uh, type windows, those are the the worst as far as efficiency. Um, but if you had wood that were original, some they're going to be a little more efficient. But what happens through the years, obviously, is uh, where they might have been tight fitting. When they were installed, things shift and the window doesn't become as efficient. So 30% is the safe bet. Uh, we see more than 50% feedback from some How's homeowners. That? Just uh, probably related to the steel casements that were the original. So, uh, Or they were more conscious of watching their thermostat and doing the right things inside the home. So it, it takes a little... Uh, participation from the actual homeowner also to help uh, reduce the cost. Now one of the things I know is that uh, folks at home really don't like to do is uh, research too much. <laughs> I found that to be a problem. How do you, what do you look for in terms of energy efficiency? There are E ratings or R ratings and X ratings and Y. No, <laughs> uh, give us an idea. What do you look for? What do you ask about? Well, the first label, obviously, that carries uh, a lot of weight that people are familiar with with other products is the Energy Star label, and that gives it a certain uh, basis guideline that, that most windows that you want you want to do. That's um, a federal government standard, right? Correct, and that's become more aggressive through the years, and it's probably going to become even more aggressive as far as trying to make uh, the windows that are made and the requirements for windows that are made um, more efficient. Uh, and then what you find is that Energy Star window, there are obviously a lot of companies that make windows. How we focus and what we'd recommend for folks that aren't in this area is we structure our window for this climate. So where a lot of windows are made to cover the whole United States, and sort of a, a blanket coverage, we focus on just the Mid-Atlantic. So when you have folks that are concentrating on your geographical area, it obviously is going to benefit you more. So the Energy Star rating, what else? Uh, the Energy Star rating, obviously related to that, is double pane glass with a low E coating, which is a film on the glass that's metallic, that in the summer it helps reflect, and in the winter it actually helps absorb just by the way the sun sits in the sky. 
And then it also keeps your beautiful carpet from uh, fitting a lot tighter. Now one of the questions, another one of the questions that we get from uh, Pushing Green fans is uh, about tax incentives and tax rebates. Is Uncle Sam going to help with energy efficient windows here? For a little while longer. Mm -hmm. You have to have your windows installed uh, before the end of the year. Uh, that's 2009, 2010 were the incentives that were put forth, so there's a little more time left to uh, you can get a credit as much as uh, $1,500 for uh, putting in the Energy Star windows. And it's not just Energy Star windows. It actually is the more aggressive aspect that the, that the gov federal government set up for so this tax credit. It's a, it's a federal government tax credit of up to $1,500? Up to $1,500, Any correct. certain percentage or up to 30% or? Yeah, it's 30%. It's a little complicated, but yeah, it's a certain percentage of the actual job total. Um, number is more if you spend $7,500 to $8,000 on a project, uh, you'd be pretty close to maximizing the $1,500 credit. Okay, he brought up money value here. $8,000. Uh -oh. Let's say, let's say you spent $8,000 to replace 10 windows or however many it might be. Um, when would you get that money back, do you think? By when? Over how many years in terms of the number of, uh, the amount you pay for your bills, your energy? Your bills. efficiency savings. I, you know, conservative again, let's, let's be conservative. I think some people are going to see returns quicker, but um, eight to 10 years. I think they'll pay for themselves in most cases. And once again, if, if you're in those extreme conditions, it'll, it'll obviously uh, pay off a lot quicker. You know, one thing to take into account, too, that's just heating and cooling costs. Obviously, your, your own enjoyment, your own satisfaction of the new product has a lot of value that's hard to put on it. And then just curb appeal and overall remodeling changes have value also. Are there any other places homeowners should look to, for example, their state government or their local government in terms of any rebates or incentives? What should they look for? Absolutely. Uh, definitely check, check with the state and county. And if you're in a city uh, also, you, you never know what incentives are out there until you do a little research. And every, unfortunately, I don't have a, a quick answer to that. But yeah, a little research is required. Um, and a lot of times, if you go to the EPA websites, they can guide you to the uh, other districts. Environmental Protection Agency. Yes, EPA. thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, one final question for Andy, I think, and that would be, what's, what's your best advice to folks who are looking to put in some new windows? Um, certainly do your research. I know you're not totally in favor of that, but uh, just so you have an idea of what products are out there. Obviously, I, I'm extremely biased to companies that make their own windows. It's very rare that that you can have someone in your house that actually makes the product that's locally manufactured and they do the installation. So there's a lot of comfort there. There should be a lot of comfort there that not only the company making it is installing it, but they have qualified factory certified installers to put it in because then it's their name being carried the whole way through so they have there's a lot on the line for that company. And uh, I think that's important. There's, there's enough of them out there that you can get your three estimates. Let's put it that way. So you have some comparison to do. And then uh, I think you'd be in good shape. Andy Riley, he's with Thompson Creek, answered all your questions, I hope, about energy-efficient windows.